Hello, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Akshaya. This week brings another Slang Weekly and some updates, the first of which is our regular Minute with an Admin. Good morning, Mrs. Ben Menick. I'd like to take my minute today to give a few shout-outs. This week, we show appreciation for our teachers and paraprofessionals, and today we recognize school lunch heroes, our cafeteria staff. On Thursday, May 12th, we celebrate Mrs. Burke and Mrs. Thompson on School Nurses Day. And let's not forget that over April vacation, we thanked Mrs. McBride, Ms. Tommy, Mrs. Chatton, and Mrs. Catton on Administrative Professionals Day. Every staff member here at HMS is a champion for our students. Their passion, dedication, and skill make a difference for us every day. They are hardworking and compassionate. In challenging times and in challenging circumstances, the care every staff member here at Hopkinton Middle School demonstrates goes beyond compare. I want to share my heartfelt gratitude to our staff. Working with you has made me a better school administrator and person. Students, please take a moment to extend your appreciation and thanks to all of these important people. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Benvenick. Now I'd like an opinion on a burning question of our time. The hot dog, is it a sandwich? Visit our website to answer our poll and let's get an answer. While you're thinking, please enjoy our latest Slang Weekly. It's Slang Weekly with... Milkshake. And Lorelai. Our word or phrase this time is out of sight, out of mind, suggested by Aubrey T. Awesome is a way to say that you'll forget something that isn't in your sights or present anymore. For example, if your friend said, my girlfriend cheated on me, you could respond, don't worry, it's out of sight, out of mind, meaning it's all right, she's not present anymore, and you'll get over it soon. See you next time. See you all next time. Nice work, Lorelai and Milkshake. One thing I'm sure is never awesome is HMS Today. Am I right? You know I am. And next, Aya is interested in donuts. Enjoy. Many of us are familiar with the donut. But where does this dessert come from? Well, in the late 1700s, Dutch settlers brought the oligok, which means oily cake, and brought their recipe when they settled in what is now modern-day New York. The dough didn't originally have a hole in the middle. Did you know that donuts were mentioned in a book called The History of New York back from 1809 as balls of sweetened dough fried in hog's fat? A man named Hanson Gregory is credited as the inventor. While sailing in 1847, he found that he didn't like the oiliness of donuts and how the middle of the dough wouldn't fully cook, so he would puncture holes through the center to solve this problem. By the 1850s, donuts became a popular American dessert with a more modern look and taste. In 1938, the U.S. declared the first Friday of June, which is June 4th this year, as National Donut Day to honor the volunteers who cooked donuts for the troops during World War I. So next time you eat a donut, remember its fabulous history. I really want a donut right now, but hey, it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday, everyone! Here's some important news. Anna Dorian is holding a clothing drive the next two weeks for the nonprofit organization Cradles for Crayons, which helps kids get the essentials and clothing they need. Anna is hoping to get a lot of good quality clothes for their kids in Massachusetts. When you get home, dig deep and bring in some donations. And that is the end of our show. Visit us at hms.today and email us at hmstv.org. See you next time!